Hey Sagittarius, I'm Chris. Welcome to your August 2019 Tarot Scope. Alright guys, now I've been gone for a little while. Uh, I'll have a video coming out to talk a little bit about where I've been, what I've learned. But as you can see, I moved. Uh, I have a great new professional little setup here. I'm happy to be back with you guys. If this is your first time, welcome to the house. Uh, if you're returning, thank you for sticking with me. In the description below, you can find a link to my website where you guys can book readings, donate to the channel, all that good stuff. I'm going to make a very limited amount of readings available this month. I want to focus my energy here and in my life, so you can check that out there. Uh, and that should be all, I think, Sagittarius, because I'm excited to get into this reading. So I, I like kind of snuck home on my lunch break to do this reading for you guys. And I always feel that whenever something happens in a reading, from the beginning, you, from the time you plan it to the time you're actually doing it, it has importance to it. And I think the message here, Sagittarius, for August is that there are no fucking rules anymore. This month, Sagittarius, we do what we want. We, I, I have a sense of, of, I have some notes here from my meditations on you guys. And something I got the sense of is that there's a sort of confidence with you guys this month. A sort of confidence in asserting what you want. There's no second guessing right now. There's sort of a like, you know what? Yeah, I do want that. I do want you to do this for me. I do expect you to be this way. I do expect, like there's, a, there's, there's no shyness to your expectations. There's no second guessing to asserting what you want and what you expect from people because i think there's like a sort of internal peace that's happening with you guys right now the last few months have been wild with the retrogrades the eclipses and everything and now august is a month where we get settled and we start to like collect ourselves the things that we kind of broke free from this month we start to get settled in <laughs> and i was literally just going to talk about the last note that i had here on my on my I, i'm going to just show you guys i'm just going to show you guys what so you, so you kind of have a good idea of, of how good I am at this. Look at, what does that say? If you can fucking read my chicken scratch, it says, death is a gift. What's our first card out for the month, Sagittarius? Death. Now, what's, what I mean by that, Sagittarius, is that there's been things that have been dying. There's things that are falling away. Like, you guys are done with the stage of your life. Uh, you're done with certain relationships. You're done with, uh, you're breaking free of all of that. There's a liberation this month, Sagittarius. A liberation from something you've been stuck in for a while. Liberation from something that's been like weighing you down, making you feel like in certain ways you haven't been able to make progress. It could be internal, it could be a job, it could be a school, it could be a living situation, it could be so many things. But Sagittarius, the message here is that there's almost like a happiness here. There's a like, fuck these hoes, fuck these bitches, I'm out. Kind of energy right now with the way that he's just like la 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 fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck you <laughs> i try to like cut back on my swearing in these videos but this is the sagittarius video so fuck it and our ideal sagittarius is the hermit so we know we're going to new places we know that we're leveling up we know that we're on the cusp of something great. We know that this is what I'm saying about that energy of like, fuck you, first of all, but also like knowing what you want. The hermit is very confident in his own mind, in his own judgment, in his own intellect, in his own intuition. He has everything he needs to go out into the world on these adventures of greater understanding, of greater uh, explorations. Sagittarius, right now you might kind of want to, I don't feel like this is antisocial behavior, so I don't want to necessarily describe the hermit literally, because I actually think you guys are out and about last month, this month, and you have been going to new places, seeing new things. But with the hermit here, there is a sort of need to sort of calm down a little bit. <laughs> with the hermit, I've been feeling this about Leo season a lot where there's a lot of fire we're in the heart of summer but for a lot of the signs it's been a little overwhelming like you need to sort of take a back seat and like chill a little bit on the cusp of something great sagittarius in our in our distant past we have the emperor 
So I think this is really struggling. This has really been struggling with institutions that have made you feel less than. This has been struggle with power structures. Like you guys are a sign that wants to be free and with the emperor coming up like this, it's maybe feeling like a, you've been a little oppressed. You've been a little stifled. Whether it's by a person in particular making you feel a little stifled or just, you know, circumstances of life. And so far, Sagittarius, we have three major arcana starting out the reading. So we're on the cusp of evolution. Some big changes have happened and are going to continue to happen. You're on a journey. You're on a quest. What was old no longer fits you. What you the way you used to be is donezo. So with the Emperor in our distant past, Sagittarius, now I think we have a better understanding of what we won't or who we won't, won't allow to put us down, what we won't allow to make us feel stifled. With the Emperor coming up like this, it makes me feel like we're actually on a path here to finding our own power. And part of that power, again, it's not about being alone. But it's, you see the way that the hermit is dressed in rags? It's like the emperor... Look at these two Look at these two next to each other. Look at the way they're dressed, right? He has kind of torn, ratty rags. And his rags... His, his, his uh, rags, his robes are elaborate. They're heavy. They look expensive. And so this is what I think the hermit is telling us, right? We're no longer buying into this shit. Uh, these ideas about what this this institution this structure maybe the whole world at large is telling us we don't want those robes anymore we're fine with rags because with rags we're on our own we're good we're okay with being lonely sometimes we're okay with not having the glory that your your lifestyle that you're selling is going to offer because we know that that's bullshit another thing that came up in the meditation guys is that you guys have to be wary of of bullshit, of, of false appearances, of people who say one thing and aren't going to actually be able to follow through. How did I word it? Be aware of that which is manufactured. I knew it was important to look at what I wrote. Be aware this month of that which is manufactured, of images, of, of people uh, presenting things a certain way of, of maybe being offered jobs or things that, that sound real good and but they're too good to be true. Be very conscious this month, Sagittarius, because I think when your heart is involved, you guys are a very smart sign, you're very intuitive, very perceptive, but I think sometimes when the heart is involved, things can kind of go, go askew, just like anybody. Here we go, Sagittarius. Uh, in our past, we have the Ace of Swords as well. You guys got smarter. You guys started to see the bullshit for what it is. You guys started to know what your path was, what your destiny is. It doesn't have to be in a big fateful way, but in a way of saying like, this doesn't fit. This relationship, this home, this job, this, this friendship, that shit doesn't fit anymore. And now you have a good sense of who is the real, who are the real ones. It's not that you're alone, uh, Sagittarius. You just know who the real ones are. Clearer than ever. And you're living your best life because of it. You're living your best life because you're separating yourself from the garbage. You're living your best life now because like, you've let go of bullshit. And you feel, and there's like a sense of pride. I think it's, uh, Sagittarius is feeling pride this month. Pride in your accomplishment, pride in your in your personal growth and the level of development where you feel like you're in life, right? Like I'm smarter than that now. I'm I know I'm better than that. I know I can do more. I know I deserve more. I know I can speak my mind without fear. Because you take it away from me, I don't give a fuck because I'm good on my own. I have everything I need here here and here <laughs> what i say about you guys just living your best lives now in the more recent past i'm curious we have the sun you guys have been having a good summer i think there's been fun there's been excitement there's been travel there's been like just a sense of joy and look again 
Five of the cards are major arcana, our spiritual development, our spiritual evolution, the big picture. And what's the one card in the, in the middle? The Ace of Swords. It's because we have tr truth. Because we have trust in ourselves. Now the sun is telling me also that that we, we like kind of, <laughs> I don't want to say that like it's doom and gloom, Sagittarius, but enjoy it now because I think that things are about to get not harder, but serious again. Like, enjoy this last bit of summer because things are about to get serious again. You might have to start working again. You might have to start, you know, like that's that's the sense here is like, I mean, obviously it makes sense because if it's summer, people are on vacation and then like in the fall, you know, we're gonna might, maybe have to go back to work. My summer hours are over in a few weeks. Not Gemini, but you know, we, we like this. We see each other. Uh, oh, Sagittarius, so much release. But this is internal release. Here in our turning point, we have the Eight of Cups. So, so if it was upright, I'd say you were letting go of something. But you're letting go of of your own ideas. This is this is that no more rules card. No more rules imposed on yourself. No more second guessing things. No more having to tell yourself uh, or talk yourself out of things. Or like this is a this is a month Sagittarius to just go go go. To just like fly like the fucking wind. Because with the other signs, like this has been a month of kind of stability and calm. But I think you guys are ready to go. You're ready to take off. You've let go of the things inside of you that that were making you doubt yourself you're let going of the things inside of you that made you like have these false ideas of 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 perfection of what's supposed to be and now you're going to be seeing it in your external world you're going to be seeing it in your lived life now sagittarius uh going forward into the month in your future be careful about overindulging but this is again be careful of deception the Seven of Cups is like illusions. It's the things we want to hear. It's the things that we want to feel are the easy fixes. Exactly what I said. Be, be very conscious of what lies behind everything you see. Be, be, be conscious of intentions, right? If something sounds too good be, to be true, question it. Question people's intentions, question people's motives. Again, what I said in the beginning about with the heart, the seven of cups, we're talking about water, we're talking about emotions. And there's possibility for your emotions to lead you astray. Not that your emotions are not telling you the truth, but that your emotions will allow you to buy into bullshit. Your emotions will let you buy into like what should be and what's supposed to be what other people are telling you is supposed to be. As we get towards the middle of the month, Sagittarius, we have the Six of Pentacles. So there's that stability I was talking about. There's that calm in the storm. Things are gonna feel really pleasant. You're going to have positive exchanges. If you guys can be very discerning about what's real and what's not, you will find peace. You will find balance. You'll find energy exchanges that are actually uplifting and fulfilling as opposed to something like this that's oppressive. You're gonna find those institutions, you're gonna find those people that you want to give your energy to, that you want to give your time to. And you know why? Because they're giving back. Throughout the month, Sagittarius, if you focus on the real ones, if you focus on letting go of the stuff that's old, the stuff that's baggage, the stuff that's like just taking your energy. And it's very obvious. I don't you don't have to think too hard. You immediately know what's taking your energy. You know. You will find so much power. You will find stability. Going into uh Virgo season, going into September, like you're gonna have this super solid foundation where no one's gonna be able to rock you. Because like you already rocked all of them who are putting you off your game. 
rounding out the month Sagittarius we have the Knight of Wands in reverse so this is you guys definitely um, now in reverse I feel here like you're kind of pulling back you're pulling back on 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 I think anger you're pulling back on lashing out you're pulling back on you know there's a, there's a sense here of, of like super ambitiousness being like destructive now if you can focus on the day-to-day -day building blocks right so I'm curious I said this is a month to take off but I think with the knight of wands ending out the reading I think it's really important to not go too fast too quickly I think it's important also to to build on what is already there as opposed to trying to bring in tons of of new stuff particularly with regards to your careers and your career ambitions but most importantly Sagittarius I think the Knight of Wands in reverse is you not putting out negativity you not fucking with low vibe st stuff shit low vibe then you're not fucking with low energy low vibration stuff this is saying I'm not even gonna fight you I'm not going to engage you it's not like any fights you engage in this month Sagittarius are going to turn out badly and that's why this energy is so like la di da lighthearted fuck you fuck you fuck you because he's not doing that keep dropping the cards over there he's not doing that low rent shit let me see hold on a second No low rent shit. Bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, the full moon. So, again, ideas of completion, of wholeness. You've been working, you've been manifesting, and now is your time to sort of bask in what you've created. I see potential here for, for good fortune. I see potential here for things to pay off in ways that you were hoping for and now finally are. It's almost like you, you can't be bothered with stuff because things are going so well. You can't be bothered with anger. You can't be bothered with, like, you know, I, I said it in a different science reading, but it's like, you know when you don't even care about an ex anymore because like you have someone new in your life who's just so good that you don't even need to focus on like letting go of drama because like you just have something that fills your life with something so much better that's the sense you're Sagittarius your life is going is being filled with something so much better okay so now our outcome card for the month is the ace of ace of uh, wands so now two aces definitely new beginnings with, you know, the Knight of Wands, it's just not a time to move super fast, right? Like, focus on one thing at a time this month. Your ambition is on point. You're going to go into September. I think September is when now we can move super fast, right? This month, we're collecting our energy. This month, we're sort of uh, enjoying life. This month we're sort of like in that in-between place where we've let go of a lot of stuff and new life is about to begin. The Ace of Wands is like that sprout, that first like sprouted seed. It's that energy coming to life. So by the end of the month, Sagittarius, then we move really fast, right? Now we start over, now we go strong, now we go hard. Now we focus our ambition and our willpower like a motherfucker because we have clarity on what we need and we have clarity on what we want and we're not going to make a lot of mistakes. We're not going to chase, chase, uh, we're not going to chase false pleasures. We're balanced. Whoa. Okay. That just jumped out. Let's go with that. Our last bit of advice from spirit from the Oracle is earth. A month to stay grounded. A month, like, Earth energy is slow moving. 
Earth energy is solid. Earth energy is balanced. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Come on. There we go. There we go. So this month, Sagittarius, focus on your money, focus on your health, and focus on the people who are most important to you. You're keep like keep your circle small. Don't go too fast. Build, build, build. By Virgo season, it's just gonna come so naturally. You don't have a choice. So right now, like keep the energy, cause like Virgo season is gonna be work, right? So right now, again, we're building up our energy. We're staying calm, cool, and collected. We're not fighting people. We're letting go of bullshit. Then we're also not getting lost in a land of illusion. Practical, grounded, stable. All right, Sag. Um, I've been giving a little speech this month. Um, I don't think it's necessary anymore. I'm just like exhausted with like politics and stuff. And this was supposed to be an apolitical message, but I'm just like tired of like talking. <laughs> I'm tired of like having to say these things. Just keep in mind, you know, when we talk about illegals, we're talking about humans, right? We're talking about uh, uh, people who have families. And we can disagree on politics as much as we want, but what we don't do in this house is disrespect people and dehumanize people. Because this past weekend, we saw what happens in El Paso, El Paso, when people get dehumanized, when people get treated like invaders. Some crazy motherfucker with a gun kills 20 people to stop the invasion. So Sagittarius, just be smart with your words. Be conscious of your words. Be aware of the shit that you're saying when you speak. I know it's hard, Gemini. I get it. But also, as 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 Gemini Sagittarius, our, our polarities here, we have a really sharp understanding of the power of words. Right? Sometimes we have foot and mouth disease like a motherfucker, but we also understand the power of words. We understand the stories words tell. So just be conscious going forward this the rest of this month and the rest of your life, Sagittarius, on being very aware of the, wor the words you're using and the story they're telling. Te amo so much. Te quiero mucho. There you go. Is that better? <laughs> Dominican, a Cuban, can't speak Spanish to save my life. I'm trying, I'm learning, you know, but. All right, Sagittarius, I love you guys so much. Have a great month. I'll talk to you soon.